Hey everybody, it's Old School, and this is going to be a very specific video for a very specific problem uh, for those who have modded their Nintendo Wii to play um, homebrew, homebrew game. Oh, come on. It's not homebrew. It's it's freaking illegal games. You know, these, these games that uh, are not available anymore and that you can't pay for even if you wanted to. Uh, how, how else are you going to play these uh, in a legit fashion? You can't, so... You have to install the homebrew channel and then you have to download these like a dirty pirate and um, so uh, what's the problem the the problem is is that um, the Wii only has 512 megabytes of internal space which is not a lot at all especially for uh, these get the, the Wii wear games because they're uh, some of them can get up to like 48 meg a piece and so you do the math you can't you can't load very much onto the Wii's internal memory. So what's the next best thing, you know, is just to put it onto the SD card. Well, big problem. If you're downloading uh, these games um, in a non-legit fashion, which is the only way to do it now, um, you uh, you will be downloading ROMs. Uh, some, some of them will, will not be signed by Nintendo. And if they're not signed by Nintendo, uh, they will not work once you uh, transfer them over to the SD card. And I'll show you what I mean. So here's a game that I know that does not work uh, on the SD card. This one is not signed, so we'll go to this one here. Press start, failed to launch. And that's the problem that we're gonna fix today. Okay, so chances are if you have a modded Wii, you have a PC and you're going to need one because you're gonna need a program you're gonna need a program called ModMe. And that's what I have right here, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get on the internets. So just go to Google and type in uh, mod me. Enter. And here it is on soundforge.net. And you want to download either the installer or you want to download the zip. Uh, I usually just download the zip because I'm not too fond of installers. So either way, you'll get the program. So all I did is just extract it to a folder on my desktop uh, because it's already downloaded. And it's right here. So I'll open up the, the folder here. And uh, so we have modme exe, and then we have modme skin exe. Um, modme skin has more of a, 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 a friendlier uh, user interface that you can use the mouse on, but you still can't do uh, what we need to do uh, in in this mode. So we're just going to ignore that one and just go to the regular modme exe, and then you'll see this screen. It says this software is not for sale. Use at your own risk. Blah blah blah. As long as you agree. You're good to go, so you just type in I uh, agree. Oh my goodness. Excellent. <clears throat> All right. So we got quite the menu here, so we'll uh, just cut to the chase here. And uh, we want number one, the, the number one download page, which is system menus, iOSs, MIOSs, and channels. So what we'll do is we'll hit one and then enter. And then we've got a bunch of... Um, uh, what we call fake signed uh, iOS's and uh, that's that's definitely what we want to look at because um, we're looking to run fake signed channels and um, iOS 80 is what we're looking for the iOS 80 patch is what we're looking for for um, 4.3 uh, use software and uh, that is right here actually it's number 80 so what you want to do it says 80 equals iOS 80 patched and so what you want to do is just type in 80 and then enter. And it took me a while to figure out what was going on here. I was like, it looks the same, but actually it's not. Number 80 is starred now. So um, I guess they made it this way so you could sl select several. You didn't have to select just one and keep going through the same process. So you can keep, you can keep selecting others if you want to. But uh, like I said, we're only going to be dealing with uh, this particular problem today. And so uh, we're ready to go ahead and download that. According to the key here, it says uh, download selected files, press D. So we're just going to hit D and enter. <clears throat> and then yes to begin downloading. So press Y and then enter. And it says open file location, copy to SD. 
So we'll go to uh, the mod me folder again. We have a copy to SD folder. And now we have a watt in there. And now we have iOS 80. Now that we have that, what we want to do is take the wad file, copy it, and put it onto our SD card. And you can put it pretty much wherever you want to, but just to keep it nice and neat, we'll slap it into the wads folder. The uh, paste. And just like that, that's all we need. So now that we got that on the SD card, let's go back to the Wii and see if we can make some magic happen. Okay, so we're back. And let's go to the Homebrew channel. And we're gonna install this this um, this fix, um, just like we would install any other WiiWare or Wii Virtual Console game. So, it requires us to do iOS 249, go to WAD Manager, go to WADS, and uh, there it is, iOS 80. So we just hit A, hit A. Now, of course, um, you should have Preloader installed to keep from breaking your Wii, just in case something goes wrong. Uh, if you don't know what that is, We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's go back to the system menu. And we're back. Now, if, if this fix worked right, you don't even have to play around with anything. You don't have to re-download anything. You just go to the games that weren't working before and they will work. So here we are again. Start. And there it goes. Now it's telling me I need the classic controller. It's not gonna find it and then it's gonna say connect it or uh, press the A button to go back to the Wii menu. So we'll just stop there. Obviously that fixed the problem. And uh, so now let's talk about, actually let's go back to the, um, let's go back to the menu. And uh, let's talk about our preloader for a second. Uh, actually, let's just talk about uh, modding your Wii. Um, uh, period. So if, if uh, you're one of my subscribers and you've never um, even thought about modding your Wii or don't have a Wii to mod and this kind of looks cool to you, um, I'm not going to go through the process on how to mod your Wii to be able to play virtual console and WiiWare games on your Wii um, like a pirate uh, because there's already a fantastic tutorial that I followed in order to learn how to do this. and, and uh, this, this is the preloader mod, by the way, and after you load it, it protects your Wii from being bricked by a bad WAD file. And uh, that's um, what um, the, the video that I'm going to tell you to go to and link down in the description um, is by, uh, hopefully you're familiar with him, he's the Modern Vintage Gamer, and X, he has an excellent tutorial on how to, uh, very step-by-step -step process on how to uh, mod your Wii, and then after you get it modded, and then you can... Uh, do this fix and then you can be playing games on your Wii like a dirty pirate just like me so uh, I hope this channel uh, <laughs> channel I hope this video has been helpful to you uh, if you have any questions I'll try to answer them but uh, if they're outside of the scope of this video chances are you'll find somebody else you'll find another video that can help you uh, with it uh, with your problem uh, more than I can because like I said this this is a very very narrow scope problem, and um, I just I, I learned how to do this from somebody else from looking around YouTube, and it, it's not that hard to find. But this the, the fix to this particular problem was kind of difficult to find. So, if modding your Wii sounds like a cool idea, which it totally is, and you can do a lot more than uh, just this stuff. Obviously, you've got uh, 
the USB loader where you can load um, completely legit uh, Wii games and GameCube games or not. And uh, of course, the, there's uh, on the mod, the mod me software on the PC that you saw earlier can download uh, a plethora of different kinds of mods from system menu themes and other kinds of software, other emulators if you want to do that, uh, which I'm not in need of. Um, so the, the, the sky's the limit and I, uh, unfortunately I can't, I can't take you up any higher than this. So like I said, I'll leave a, um, uh, link in the description of for the modern vintage gamer, uh, his, um, his video on how to mod the Wii and that should take you where you need to go and then you can do this fix. So, uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope it helped you.